What hasn't worked as well was the attack on Iraq, which was based on false assumptions, and which has created a situation that is very unstable and continues to deteriorate. The intervention in Libya by the British and the French with our backing hasn't worked out too well, and the French and the British haven't been very effective. We are now pointed towards something somewhat similar but more dangerous in Syria, because Syria is interlocked with Iran, that poses dangers for the global economy, that will affect the interests of Japan and of China, we should be building an international coalition to impose some sort of a solution. We should be seriously negotiating with the Chinese and the Russians, involve the Japanese as well because they're influential. So are the Indians, incidentally, who are dependent on energy. That is the kind of response that might have some effect. Instead, we're essentially engaging in mass propaganda portraying this as a democratic war. Who is fighting for democracy? Qatar and Saudi Arabia are fighting for democracy. This is a sectarian war waged with great brutality by both sides. And I repeat, the 93,000 were killed in a civil war. They weren't killed just by the Syrian regime. There are two sides to that struggle. And neither one is waging it in a particularly attractive fashion. The risk is to escalate and slip out of our control, not like the one that we had in Bosnia. And hence, I think we have to be more strategic, more determined, and the leadership has to be more directed from the top down, involving the president and his top, top foreign policy advisors, not by some casual communiques, worded in a vague fashion because we don't even know whether these incidents which killed 100 people or 150 people preceded or followed Obama's so-called red line. And why did the president issue that particular red line? On what basis? With what strategic concept in mind? This is what's so baffling about this whole thing. It's a tragedy and it's a mess in the making and one that can enlarge involve Turkey perhaps also in this problem and Turkey is having internal difficulties.